anyways, and today we are doing another Bungie Cord plugin. This time it's going to be how to install Bungie Cord plugins. This is different from uh, regular plugins on your server. So uh, yeah, we'll hop right into it after I fly some around and do some more more awesome stuff. All right, that's enough. All right, <laughs> uh, go into your Bungie Cord uh, server and then go into your FTP. And I already have my FTP set up. Here we go. So uh, you're gonna hop into your plugins. This is for Bungie Cord only. And then, so here we go. I will put some links in the description. And what you're going to do, this is, uh, I'll show you real quick. A bunch of cord uh, proxy plugins. Um, I will put a link, of course, in the description. And then, uh, this, all these plugins right here, these are for bungee cord only. So these will only work in bungee cord. Uh, so it will be throughout all the servers. So a few uh, bungee cord plugins that I like um, are, is called Bungie Essentials and slash server so this this uh, replaces uh, we'll hop in game real quick uh, this replaces where you do slash oops slash server and then it replaces right here factions or hub here let me open up my chat a little bigger alright so as you see right here it says factions or hub so uh, if we do like slash hub or whatever it says uh, you can't it's like unknown command or whatever so to do that we'll hop back in here uh, this is your uh, plugins folder, of course. So come back on and then download these, uh, this plugin, as well as slash server. And then I'll show you guys how to do that after it finishes downloading. And then basically just drag it over and, then we, and uh, place it in your plugins folder for the Bungie. And then restart your Bungie Cord server. Here we go as it's loading. So it should be uh, pretty simple. Um, it's pretty straightforward because as you see over here, these are all your your bungee cord plugins. You can search and whatever. I will put a link in the description. It's pretty simple. So you have like bungee chat and then like a whole bunch. Of, there's some pretty cool things uh, on here as well. So um, it looks like that is good. We'll come into the council again, and it uh, looks like all all of them are good. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll hop back in game. And uh, we'll see what we can make of it. <laughs> okay, so we are back in game, and uh, this last server and stuff that I was telling you about. So if we do like slash hub, it'll probably say, "Yeah, you don't have permission to do this command." Uh, you're probably wondering why, but we'll come. Uh, we'll come back in here for Bungie Essentials, and I'll show you again. Uh, come down here. The same for uh, slash server. Um, there's like permission nodes, so just like any other plugin, there are permission nodes. But uh, for right for the for Bungie, for, sorry, got my words up, uh, confused there. So for Bungie, you're gonna come into config, and this is where you're going to add your permissions. So as you see, default right here has these permissions. Admin has these permissions. So uh, last tutorial, you put your your name under the admin group. So by default. Uh, you don't have to add like a group default. It's already like defaulted, I guess. <laughs> but what you're gonna do, if you're like an owner, or whatever, so you can uh, add like all these uh, permission nodes, like right here, uh, G Essentials Admin, and all this awesome things. Um, as you see, has uh, nice good stars. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just like G Essentials.message or G Essentials.list or G Essentials whatever. So uh, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna do like, uh, pff, we'll do we'll do this one, G Essentials.admin.chat. Uh, so we'll type that in and then G Essentials.admin.chat. And then uh, for slash server, uh, as you see, they need the permission node this. And so that's the permission node that you need to add and then if we hop into the uh, plugin folder and then we'll go into like Bungie Essentials you can see all this stuff that you can like config to whatever uh, I'm gonna go into slash server and open the config up so as you see uh, when you reload uh, your server it will automatically have the different servers that you have already on so uh, say uh, we want to go to the hub so you want to add let me come back over here. So this is the permission node that you need to add to group default. So come over here and basically you just do this and then slash server and then the name that you want uh, we have the hub so we'll do slash 
dot hub and then if you want people oops you, if you want people to uh, connect to your faction server by slash factions or whatever you have um, we'll come back and do slash factions I think that's uh, yeah factions that you see right here and these are like the delays uh, if you want like a delay of like three seconds or whatever uh, and then you can change uh, your messages and everything so we'll save that and then we'll come back over here so slash server uh, make sure you add that to default and oops did I add <laughs> add this one to the wrong one delete that don't want default using that uh, we'll copy paste that right there backspace a little bit so it's all lined up there we go so we'll save that and then uh, make sure that is saved so and then now we'll restart and it should work so we have reloaded our stuff and as uh, hop in back in here <coughs> As you see, I've added the G essentials for admin and chat, and uh, we'll click the wiki. Uh, so that this over here um, is the wiki, and then you can just like copy and paste. Because uh, when you try to do that, as you guys saw, is like a picture. So you just like copy and paste this, and uh, make sure your name. Oops. Make sure your name is right here under the admin group, so you can have the permission. So. As you see, I added that, and then the slash server, slash server, and then we'll come into the plugins real quick, and I'll show you uh, real quick. And as you see, there's like messages with uh, G Essentials, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we'll come in uh, G uh, Bungie Essentials, and here's like the messages uh, that you can like easily configure in game if you want. So here's the alert, and I'll show you guys that real quick. Uh, if you do slash alert. And then, and then, or you can uh, you can use color codes as well. Uh, so you can, oops, <laughs> you can do like, um, come join this server, these servers. Yeah, so you can do that. And then, as you see in the config, you can edit uh, what the type of message, like what it looks like, like the prefix and stuff. And then there's warnings and rules and all this crazy awesome stuff. So it's really nice. Uh, and there's like words that you can add uh, for uh, the ban words uh, for that cursing and stuff so you can uh, disable that and then staff chat uh, let me show you guys uh, staff chat as you see uh, this is a bungee cord plugin so it connects to all uh, the servers time said day uh, so so like if you go to like factions and this is the last uh, slash server command as you just see uh, so you can teleport right away to different servers, so it's pretty awesome. And you see it says factions now. So if we go back to hub slash hub, um, and as you see those messages that appear, so it appears on every single server, uh, those messages, and as you see, um, please do not spam my place. So yeah, it has a built-in spam thing, so like you can't do it real fast or something or whatever. Or maybe I can't, I don't know, whatever. Um, probably because I'm the admin thing in the Abundant config, but yeah, whatever. So as you see, teleport to server hub, so you can do like slash hub, but as you see, it's our, I'm already on that server. So it's pretty nice. Uh, I really like the the Bungie Essentials. It's very helpful. And then you can change like the announcement delays. Delays uh, like are in seconds, and the intervals are 60. So it's really nice. You can like customize your messages. Uh, and this goes to all the servers, by the way that you're running bungee cord uh, that's connected bungee cord I mean so it's really very very helpful and a slash server as you guys saw and then you can like change the messages and everything so that's about it for today's uh, video and tutorial if you have any questions be sure to uh, comment down below and I'll help you out with that it's pretty simple actually make sure you add your uh, permission nodes and make sure you're uh, on the Bungie Cord server when you're installing Bungie plugins. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to subscribe and uh, leave a rating if you guys did enjoy. It's much appreciated. And thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time.